Coming up in the next countdown, countdown LBL, coming up next, next video, title, next video dot description, skip to this video now transcript for Tampa opens arms to Puerto Rico evacuees the state has already activated so-called reception centers for Puerto Rican evacuees in Orlando and Miami all to help them recital. Now that HASNT happened here but nonetheless the city's getting ready for a potential population in Forks. It's cold out table next to baggage claim at Tampa International Airport. It seems small, but it's the start of a massive effort to prepare for Puerto Rican evacuees looking to make the mainland their new home in a negative at a game one honestly believe will be here for months if not years Jennifer Martinez had to abandon it all. Night packing whenever she clicked. A couple of suitcases, all of them select, more than a month and about being an album is via our peony in heat without air conditioning and us. I cannot, she's staying with family tells me she'll need her own home job school for her baby girl. Now Hillsborough County Tampa had teamed up with numerous agencies and non-profit. Ultra How Connect season the American citizens with the resources they desperately need. At the moment, it just means a white bag. And information of possible to live in Puerto Rico after this disaster and I know no no match job. But how it is now. No Rose in descent is staying with a daughter in Tampa she says she can't go back to her island animal permanently resettle in another state. As evacuees arrive, agencies are having roundtable discussions, identifying potential problems should a reception center be activated here is an ad ISNT like we're so grateful for the help because honestly we need. We need help. Some of those problems they've identified are housing vouchers, jobs and medical help. Possible solutions include crisis counseling within documentation requirement that schools and having the DM the offer for IDs. I, this transcript has been automatically generated and may not be 100% accurate.